Okay, so this is coming incredibly out of the blue, but I have decided that I want to at least try to make a gosh upon machine. I keep seeing these pop up at um, booths or conventions and I want to give it my hand. So we're going to try to make one from scratch. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, so I've been working on the gachapon machine for a couple of hours now, and I'm, I'm making pretty steady progress. This is what I have so far. Um, it's three-sided because I want to leave it open and work on it with just tape for right now. I'm going to go back in with some hot glue and like finish gluing everything in um, whenever it's like completely done. So, but what I've done is I've got three sides right now. It is 17 inches tall, but it's going to end up being about 20 and a half inches tall because um, I miscalculated at the bottom here um, how tall I would need it to be uh, for it to make a full rotation and then dump the good at the bottom. So what I've done is I have this little machine, all the gotcha capsules will sit on top and it'll... I'll get to that. Um, they'll go through here, go into like a spinning mechanism, and then drop down the bottom. And I'm gonna add a three and a quarter, three and a half inches, what I think I said, um, like riser to the bottom. And I'm gonna make a little ramp that like opens up down here. I'm hoping, I've said it many times, I'm not a scientist um, or a mathematician, but I am trying my best. Um, so, um, the mechanism itself is going to look like this. It's an 8 inch circle with a square cut out of the middle, and um, it's going to be stacked with probably quite a few of these, at least like 10 or 11, I'm thinking. Um, so, I have quite a few more of these to cut out. I just made one to act as my template just to make sure that I think it's going to work. And I also made this big 1 inch by 1 inch tube that is going to slide in the middle of all of them and this is going to be what's turning everything and so I'll just demonstrate it here so it'll stick to the front right there I've already glued in my little knob that I'm going to like E6000 to the front of this thing um, and that's going to act as the turner and so I thought I was going to have to add like a little circle thing so it wouldn't catch but I think that it'll be okay like this um, on the back I do I haven't glued it in yet but the little bottle cap that I cut the top out of, I'm gonna glue that in, and that way it can slide over top of the back part of it. Can you see me? <laughs> and that way it'll hold it stable and level as it's turning. Um, and so I think that's gonna work. Like I said, I'm taping everything in right now just to make sure that it's all gonna be okay. Um, oh yeah, you can see. So the little like slotted thing is like two and a half inches tall I believe, maybe a little shorter than that. But it'll spin around, it'll grab the, the ball, and then it'll spin down here and drop the ball. 
and it'll go out a little ramp down in the front. And so it's a easy mechanism. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm gonna say that and jinx myself. Um, and then I'm gonna have a little lid on top. And I might, oh, I have to sit there. I found this one that already had like a little bend in it. And so that way I can just slide it on top, like so. And I might do some like cute little like bird scallop edge maybe with some paper or something just to make it look cuter. Um, but that way this will be easy to take off. I can just sit it on top. And I might like have something that slots down on the inside and that way it'll fit snug. But other than that, um, it'll just lift off and that way I can put the gotcha balls in. And I am planning on putting some kind of plastic in it um, just to make the windows. But I want to wait because I'm going to go in and hot glue all the edges and E6000 and everything to make sure it's stable. And um, then I'm going to paint it, I believe. I'm not sure what color yet. Probably like pink or blue or something. Um, but yeah. So, and I did like how it turned out because the knob is only like three inches wide, I think. And so I think up here I can put like what specific items I'll have in it per con. And that way I can just like switch it out and either tape or like maybe even Velcro it on. So day two of making my gachapon vending machine and I have run into a bit of a hiccup. Um, so I've made this contraption. This is the inner mechanism of the candy dispenser. And so the way that it's supposed to be is it catches the ball up here and then rotates around. I didn't factor that when it gets down here, it's likely that like in the process of dumping it out, might get caught on the thing and so I tried to like cut off half the circle to correct for that but my dumb self didn't realize this is going to be the top when it's done so it's not going to help anything so what I think I'm going to have to do is toss this and make a smaller inner mechanism like I'm thinking like maybe six inches instead of eight and giving it like a two inch um, hole on the top so this will be the same it'll just be a smaller circle and so I'm hoping that'll fix it so, which I hate to throw away a bunch of work, but, you know, this is all trial, trial and error. And that'll actually correct this being so low. So, because I initially thought, like, oh, why isn't this, like, up here somewhere? Alright, so I replaced it with a smaller wheel. This is going to be our test run. <laughs> it worked. The capsules aren't supposed to come in until next Wednesday. So I'm worried that, because I'm impatient and I really want to just keep working on this, but I'm afraid to do too much without knowing what the capsules are going to look like. Because I want to make sure that they're going to work. So, we'll see what I do. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far. I've super glued most of the edges and also added these little bracers up on like all the corners and I also did it on the bottom too just to keep it more sturdy. I also made this little guy, which is a tray, because I realized that whenever the balls were coming out, then it was like shooting out. But that'll just slot underneath the bottom. And I'm kind of curious if this tape is gonna be an issue when I paint, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. If not, um, I've been cutting out this um, contractor's paper and taping it on the sides so that the sides look nice and neat. And I don't think that'll interfere with the paint job too much. But I'm going to show you guys. Um, so I glued this on. Ball pops in. And it should. Oh, this would be the one time it doesn't work. Uh-oh. The oh, ball is not there anymore. There it is. Okay. And then it pops out. Sometimes it stays in there. Sometimes it shoots out. 
um, but I think it's it's gonna be good. Okay, hello. Okay, so I have done a test of uh, paint, as you would call it. And I'm in train because sometimes they turn out like super matte and sometimes they're just like kind of matte. So I don't think it'll make a difference in the long run of things. My next step, I think, is going to be to Mod Podge all of this guy. Um, I Mod Podged underneath here and then spray painted it. And I think it's going to hold up well because I spray painted on the top here. And you can see the line show through. So I'm going to go back over and Mod Podge this and Mod Podge um, the whole machine. So I have painted my vending machine with Mod Podge just to seal it. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and paint this guy too just in case. I don't know if I'll need it, um, but this is gonna be my little catcher that goes in front of the vending machine to catch the balls when they come out. Um, I do think I'm gonna go in and make a little resin heart to catch it because I think that would be super cute. Um, but just as a backup or just if you don't do resin, then you can always make a little catcher for it. Okay, so now that it is primed, um, I just have a couple more things to do before I start hand painting everything. Um, I'm going to section these stripes off and spray paint half of them blue. Um, since I already have the spray paint, I might as well use it. Um, and then I think I'll be ready to start painting. I thought about maybe painting this like blue and pink too and that way there will be like an even match because I think I'm going to leave the main body white and then just paint like this pink and this pink um and then we'll see how I feel at the inside maybe I'll paint the inside blue um since I can go ahead and mask that off I'm also going to make a little resin dish to act as my little catcher in the bottom so stay tuned for that too Okay, so I have painted and primed all of the machine, 
and now I'm gonna go back and I cut out these little cardboard pieces just to add a little bit of like pop to the machine. So I've got that and I'm gonna add some around the sides of the windows. So I'll see how that goes. So after painting and adding on some just aesthetic details, I think that it's pretty much done. So overall, it took me about, I mean, I worked on it over the span of a couple weeks, maybe. But I'm very happy with how it turned out. And I think this will be a staple at cons to come from now on.